I spoke earlier about the press and politics with the newest CNN anchor, Jake Tapper. Welcome to the lead. I'm Jake Tapper. The straight talk you need. Man, it's still got that new set smell. I'm Jake Tapper, and this is The Lead. We are following breaking news out of Ukraine. He's the most powerful mayor in the nation. It's literally someone at the State Department trying to bury something, hiding it from you. It's Hollywood's biggest night, and things could get a little spicy on the red carpet. A lot of people probably think of me as a political reporter. The truth is, is I have a lot of interests. I could tell you anything you want about the 1980 Philadelphia Phillies. I love movies, the military, business, or the 1982 Philadelphia 76ers. A few people tonight asked me where I was from, and I was so happy that they couldn't hear the hokey in my voice. Obviously, uh, the years of elocution lessons have done their trick. The real question facing many delegates is not Bernie or Hillary. It's Pats or Genos. An alt-right website uh, suggested that there was absolutely no way I could have grown up in a neighborhood similar to Anthony Scaramucci's. I was a big phony. It was a rather interesting experience seeing somebody who had never been in Queen Village describe what Queen Village was like. I did not become a full-time journalist until I was almost 29. It took me a little time to figure out where my particular qualities of annoying persistence, uncomfortable observations, and curiously rooted self-regard might best be suited. What's it like in the halls over there knowing that you, like the president actively doesn't like your network? How do people feel over there? I don't think anybody cares. The job is to not be liked. My job is to tell the truth and deliver the facts. We can't hold others accountable if we don't hold ourselves accountable. I have to say it's not a time for journalists to be dispirited. It's a time for journalists to be encouraged. People are engaged in politics like they haven't been in quite some time. Journalists are rising to the challenge. He's yeah. called you a flunky. Yes. Yeah. That's not so bad. I was no. going to say, you're kind of no. getting off easy. I thought, I th honestly, I thought he could, he could have brought it a little bit more than I that. Think so. I was unimpressed. <laughs> My viewers are 90% human. <laughs> 10% cats. <laughs> I think I've wasted enough of my you viewers' who time. I, you know who Thank I you, care Stephen. about? As Republicans, hey, lawmakers Jake, call you know for Attorney I General Jeff Sessions to resign. The law is not that you have to swear on a Christian Bible. That is not the law. You, you don't know that? All right, Ted Crockett. A lot of people I know find their souls tried these days. It is a time when we find attacks not just on issues and, and values that we care about, but on things that people in this city almost 250 years ago fought to make part of who we are as a nation. It's not a time for sunshine patriots. It's not a time for politicians to be retreating behind doublespeak. It's a time for all of us to stand up for what is right.